homesteading to prepping to common horse sense, we are College Hill Farm. Welcome back to College Hill Farm. Well, today it's time to get started sorting our lumber. You can go back and look in our last video. We got a crap ton of lumber. It's happy days at College Hill Farm. Now, what I've got to do is I need to get something that I can set on the ground so my lumber is not sitting on the ground. Now, two years ago, we had an old barn here that needed to come down. And I took all the tear rails out of it. Now, I had somebody come. They were supposed to come and take it down. They gave me $200 for the barn, so they'd take it down and clean up the mess. They didn't do that. They took what they wanted and left, never came back. So, I've got the mess to clean up, but at least it's on the ground and not a danger to anybody. So, I'll get to that when I get to it. Eventually, I'll probably have to rent a bulldozer and just pile it up and burn it. But, that being said, it's time for me to get some tear rails to put on that. Well, back here behind me, if you'll look, I started a goat barn two years ago, but I didn't have the money to finish it, and I knew I didn't have the money to finish it. So, the restore had doors, three doors for five dollars. So that entire goat barn is covered with doors, but I got sick last year and wasn't able to finish anything out here. So I'm a year behind, but uh, I've got to get these tear rails. Well, right in here, right in here, right there, is a set of tear rails, about 40 of them, but that's full of rose bushes, blackberry brars, and looks like there might even be uh, some other bushes growing up in it, like a uh, honeysuckle. So I need to get that all cleared out of there. Well, if I can't get my bush hog over in there, okay, there's, there's stuff and I can't get my bush hog in there. But you can use the bucket on your tractor for so many things. So let me show you how to use the bucket of your tractor. And oh, I'll show you what a tear rail is too. But I'll show you how to use the bucket of your tractor to... Uh, Get that cleared off where you can get in there without getting eat up with brars. Okay, I want to answer the question about what's a tear rail. Now, this old barn right here, when we came here, there were two old barns. You can see this one's in pretty bad shape. Uh, the other one was uh, basically down, but this one's going to be down soon. That's why I'm building a barn, build, building a goat barn, and and shed, a tractor shed, because the old barns here on the property have had it. Uh, I've got some stuff stored in here that uh, the windows for our greenhouse, granite countertops for our for our outdoor kitchen. But uh, that stuff's got to get out of here. So I'm going to start uh, building a tractor shed and a greenhouse this winter. And hopefully finish my goat barn. And I'll show you that here in just a few minutes. But this is what a tear rail is. This is a tobacco barn. Both of the barns here were tobacco barns. Uh, a tear rail. This is a tear rail. Right there. It's a piece of lumber. It's about, this one happens to be about 12 feet long. It's uh, 4 inches by 3 inches. And it's made for hanging tobacco sticks for the tobacco to hang in the barn. You'll see up there that there's two tier rails to the set. And they hang tobacco from the top of the barn all the way down. Tier rails there. And uh, I've got some old tier rails. Uh, that's what we're going to salvage. I've got about 40 of them out of the old barn. Out of the other old barn. So let's get at that. First thing i got to do is take my homemade bucket forks off. They're easy to take loose. You just pull, pull and they come right off. If you've got a little tractor and you can't afford those hundred dollar bucket forks, these are great. Anything under 400 pounds, they lift the crap out of them. 
And I may put some hardwood ones on now that I've got a bunch of hardwood. Okay. Now I'm going to use the bucket of my tractor to clear that. Your tractor bucket is so versatile. So I'm going to pull the camera over where you can see. And I'm going to put on my, my uh, GoPro so you can see that too. And we're going to clear this brush.
Now, that makes a big difference. You can see, you saw before, it was nothing but a weed pile. Took my tractor with the bucket only and removed a lot of stuff that I need out of the way. Am I still going to have to remove some stuff? Yeah, I am. I'll still have a little hand removing to do, but nothing like what it could have been. So, let's go in here and have a look at the goat barn and you'll see why I enclosed it this way. Okay, here we are inside. Just so you can see, you'll notice it's just doors. They were all interior doors. Uh, so, you know, they're not, they haven't fared too well in the weather. But they've accomplished what I wanted them to accomplish, and that was to have the uh, to have this wood in a secure place. Now we've done a lot of building, and a lot of this wood's already gone. Uh, it was a stack almost halfway as tall as in here, and I just wanted something to enclose the sides. Well, I couldn't afford the wood to enclose it, so I just went ahead and uh, used some of the old barn wood up at the top. And then use doors. And I got these doors for five, three for five dollars. So for under a hundred dollars, I enclosed this entire shed. Uh, it does all right, but uh, it's time. I've got the money, I've got the materials now to make an out and out barn out of it. So, and again, it was just a carport. Okay, it's an 18 by 20 carport, and I'm gonna build side wings on it and stuff. But hopefully in the spring. We'll be ready for the goats and sheep. Okay, I went and got a machete and a sling blade so I don't have to deal with these up close and personal with my pocket knife. That can get a little aggravating. So let's uh, get over here and, and use these the way they ought to be used. That's got us cleared out enough to where I can get these without getting eat up. So let's go ahead and get some of these and I'll show you what I'm going to use them for.
Okay, I'm under no illusions here. You'll notice these tear rails are in bad shape. They've had termites on them. The fungus is on them. Okay, they're not suitable to build with. They actually need a little termite spray for what I'm going to do with them, so they're going to get that. But they can have a life again. And I'm going to show you what it is I'm going to do with them. Now you can see right there is a stack of wood and then past it's more stacks of wood. Actually four stacks. You can go back in our last video and see it. Well, what I need to do is I need to sort that. Well, these tear rails are 12 foot long and four inches tall. So, if I pull them off, Drop them here on the ground. One. Two. Now, what that gives me is a 12 foot wide, about 10 foot long, something to stack my lumber on so it's not sitting on the ground. Now, I'll go ahead and give these a spray of termite kill, and that'll take care of that. But, you'll notice I put them here a good distance from the stack. See, there's the stacks. Put them here a good distance from the stacks so I can use my tractor to put the wood on them. It'd be crazy not to do that. Okay, that's what's going on today. Now, if you like this kind of stuff, this homesteading, do-it-yourself kind of thing, be certain to come on out to the channel and subscribe. We do this homesteading stuff every week, sometimes one, sometimes five videos. Just depends on what's going on in the homestead that week. Now, if you hit the little bell when you come to the channel, it'll notify you when we upload a video. We upload every Sunday. Now, with that being said, it's time for me to get on to the next thing and start stacking lumber.